Here's how to install Windows 11 on macOS with Apple Silicon using VMware Fusion. All completely free. First, open your browser and search for VMware Fusion Download or click the direct link in the video description. Open the official VMware website and click Download Now. After a few seconds, you'll be redirected to the Broadcom website. To download VMware, you need to log in with a Broadcom account. If you don't already have one, click register in the top right corner. On the registration page, enter your email address and the security code, then click next. Now, check your email for the verification code. If you don't see it, make sure to check your spam folder. I actually found mine there with Gmail. Copy the code from the email, paste it into the field and click verify and continue. Next, Broadcom will ask you for more details. Unfortunately, this step is mandatory and you can't skip it. You'll also need to create a password for your account. Once finished, accept the terms and click Create Account. If you see the message registered successfully, it means your account is ready. Scroll down a bit and click I'll do it later. Now, log in with your new account using the email and password you just created. You'll then be redirected to your dashboard. From here, click My Downloads on the left menu, then go to Free Software Downloads available here. If you scroll down, you should see VMware Fusion. If not, you can also use the search box at the top, type Fusion and click Show Results. Once you find it, click VMware Fusion and select the latest version, which right now is version 13. Choose the latest release, and you'll see the download page with the button initially disabled. To unlock it, click Terms and Conditions, close the page, then check the box to enable the download button. When prompted, click Yes. Now you'll be asked for some additional information. These fields are all mandatory and must be completed before you can download the file. Once finished, click Submit. After a few seconds, you'll be able to download VMware Fusion by clicking the same button. Once the file is downloaded, open it and double-click VMware Fusion.app. If you see a warning message, click Open and enter your Mac password if requested. When VMware Fusion opens, select Get Windows from Microsoft and click Continue. Click Continue again, then choose your Windows Edition and Language. Click Download Windows and wait for the download to complete. This may take several minutes. Once done, click Continue, select UEFI, and click Continue again. Now create a password for the virtual TPM, which is required by Windows 11. Make sure you remember this password, because without it you could lose access to your virtual machine. If you prefer, you can also save it in your Mac's keychain. Next, select Create a new virtual disk and click Continue. Review the summary, don't worry about CPU cores for now, we can adjust that later. Then click Finish and save the virtual machine file. I'll just use the default folder. The virtual machine will now start automatically and it will immediately ask you to press any key to begin the installer. If you miss it, you'll get an error message. Don't worry, it's easy to fix. Go to the virtual machine menu, choose Shutdown, then start the VM again by clicking Play. This time, make sure to press any key when prompted. Now the installation begins. If your cursor is captured by the VM, you can release it anytime by pressing Ctrl plus Command on your keyboard. Select your language settings, then click Next. Choose Install Windows 11, check the box, and click Next. On the next page, click I don't have a product key. Then choose between Windows 11 Home or Pro, click Next, accept the license terms, and click Install. Wait while the VM reboots, don't press anything. When Windows restarts, choose your language and keyboard settings, then wait for the VM to restart again. Continue setup by choosing a PC name. After another restart, finish the final configuration steps and wait for Windows updates to install. 
This may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Be patient and don't close VMware during the process. Once complete, the VM will restart again. After a few seconds, it will ask you to sign in with a Microsoft account. You can do that if you want, but if you prefer to create a local account, press Shift plus F10 to open the command prompt. In the prompt, type, start MSCXH, local only, and press Enter. Now you can set up a local username and password. Continue, disable location services since they aren't needed in a VM, and finish the setup. After this, you're finally inside Windows 11. The first thing you should do is install VMware Tools. Open the Virtual Machine menu and select Install VMware Tools. Click Install, then in Windows Explorer open this PC and find the Virtual DVD Drive. Double-click it and follow the installer. When finished, it will ask you to reboot, click Yes and wait for the VM to restart. If everything went smoothly, you'll now be able to use the VM in full screen, and it will feel just like running Windows 11 on a real PC. To shut down the VM, simply shut down Windows 11 as you normally would. I also recommend opening the Virtual Machine Library from VMware Fusion. Here, you can see your Windows 11 VM and change its settings. For example, you can adjust the number of processors and the amount of memory allocated. As always, don't go beyond half of your Mac's total resources. If you click about this Mac in the top left corner, you can see how much RAM your Mac has. You can also check the number of CPU cores in the system report. For example, if I try to assign too many cores, VMware will prompt me to reduce the setting. I'll assign 4 processor cores and 8GB of RAM, which is exactly half of my max resources. In the settings, under the isolation tab, you can also enable drag and drop and copy and paste, which are very useful features. With these enabled, you can copy text or links from macOS and paste them directly into Windows, and vice versa. Even better, you can move files from macOS to Windows simply by dragging them into the VM window. You can also copy and paste files both ways, and it works perfectly. Just a quick note. If you go into the settings, you'll see that Windows isn't activated. You can keep using it without problems, but some options, like personalization, won't be available. If you'd like to activate it but don't have a product key yet, I recommend visiting Mr. Key Shop, where you can find genuine Windows 11 licenses for less than half the usual price. I'll include an affiliate link in the video description, using it lets you support the channel at no extra cost. After you purchase a key, you'll receive it by email. Simply copy it, go to activate and then click on change product key. If you want more performance, I suggest checking out my tutorial on Parallels, a paid alternative that takes full advantage of your Mac's hardware. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.